Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we're going to be talking about some news for Jack and Daxter. Honestly, I cannot stress how much this puts a smile on my crocodile. It's 2022 and we're finally talking about something new in the Jack and Daxter space. Some of you guys might know, uh, I'm a massive Jack and Daxter fan next to the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorites, and for years and years on end, I have been absolutely crossing my toes, fingers, and nutsack over the hope that, hopefully, we will eventually at some point get a continuation uh, for this franchise. Uh, whether it be a comeback, a revival, I don't care. I just want more Jack and Daxter. And this past week has been a damn good one in the sense of there potentially could be Jack and Daxter on the horizon in the ways of a new game. Now, the news that we have here isn't confirming that there is a game in development at Sony, but rather it's looking like a Jack and Daxter movie is coming or potential TV series. This dude is known recently for Gangster Squad, the Zombieland films, as well as Venom. And in an interview with Digital Trends, he pretty much confirmed that his next project is going to be Jack and Daxter. This is what he said, I'm actually working on Jack and Daxter, a version of that for PlayStation, which I think would be really cool to bring to life. Now, Sony themselves haven't come out to solidify this comment from Ruben. What it seems to be is uh, this is something that is potentially happening, but is in the very early talking stages of actually making it happen. But to be fair, Jack and Daxter is honestly the last IP out of the PlayStation catalog that I would expect to get a visual media adaption, just because personally I don't have a lot of faith in either a Jack and Daxter series or movie. But as we know, Sony have been a little bit more focused recently on bringing some of their IPs into the visual media sphere, with of course the upcoming Last of Us series, as well as Uncharted very shortly. We also saw back in 2016 that we got the Ratchet and Clank movie to go along with the reboot of the game. Uncharted, The Last of Us, and even Ratchet and Clank to a degree makes sense to have a visual adaption. Uh, because all of those themes and what these IPs are sort of make sense, whether it be for Uncharted and The Last of Us getting a live action adaption, or of course for Ratchet and Clank getting that CG adaption. But Jack and Daxter's a little bit of a special case, with of course looking at Jack 2 and Jack 3 with its mature tones, but the game still sporting light-hearted moments with humor intertwined, as well as the fact that the game still uses a cartoon art style, it's hard to kind of pick what formula would best suit some sort of visual adaption for Jack and Daxter. Now in my opinion, I would pick CG. I really do feel as if a live action adaption of this would be a little bit awkward. CG would certainly be better suited for exactly what Jack and Daxter is and the art style that it sports. I also do believe that the story it would revolve around would be Jack 2, Jack 3 uh, in the future and not so much the Precursor Legacy. I absolutely love the Precursor Legacy. It's my favorite installment out of the franchise, uh, but just because in this current day and age, uh, we seem to like more mature themes and the fact that like Jack 2 and Jack 3 really upped the ante in the sense of taking what was a light-hearted sort of open world platformer game with a mute protagonist to that of a very pissed off protagonist chucking it into a Grand Theft Auto formula with way more dark tones going on, I think that is better suited for the visual adaption side of things. I think more people are going to get a kick out of that. Ruben has mentioned that it's a version of that, so I don't think it would follow the same storyline or be any type of continuation of the series from where the series left off with The Lost Front Frontier. We don't like to talk about The Lost Frontier, but yeah, I don't think it would be a continuation. Probably following what we saw in number two and number three, but with variations in the mix. I do feel like the story that is present in two and three would actually work quite well in a visual adaption with Dark Jack, Light Jack, uh, the whole time travel thing, the characters that are contained with Baron Praxis, Tessa, Torn, Cleaver. The dynamic between both Jack and Daxter would make for some really enjoyable viewing. Even though I am saying CG and that live action would feel a little bit awkward, if they can absolutely nail it, then yeah, maybe it might work. Also, I do find it a little bit uncanny that uh, this information came out 
uh, literally days after Tom Holland in an interview for the Uncharted movie mentions that if he were to see any video game get a visual adaption, it would in fact be Jack and Daxter. Outright confirming that like Tom Holland is a Jack and Daxter fan, which immaculate taste, my guy. But it is a little bit uncanny. Uh, it makes me think that perhaps maybe Ruben and Tom were having some talks? Who knows? However, it's not so much the fact that we're probably going to be getting a Jack and Daxter uh, series or movie, but it's more so what could potentially follow with this. Now, like we saw in 2016 with the Ratchet and Clank movie, to go along with it, of course, we got the reboot. It's extremely possible that the same thing could happen here. Either that, or Sony might be wanting to make some type of visual media for Jack and Daxter to test the waters to see how much interest still exists for Jack and Daxter. I really don't think Sony need to test the waters though, per se, because it's very apparent that ever since Jack and Daxter has been left dormant, fans have been begging and begging and begging. I would stand on a hill and die over the fact that I do believe that Jack and Daxter is probably the most anticipated, most wanted, dormant PlayStation IP to have a comeback of sorts. And also too, I don't think that making a movie or TV series adaption of Jack and Daxter is the best way to test the waters, because not absolutely everyone is going to be interested in that, especially if this turns out to be a flop. The question is though, if we do end up getting a new Jack and Daxter game, who would be the one responsible for the development? Now, of course, in a perfect world, and preferably, we would want that to be Naughty Dog. Uh, absolutely, I would want the original developers to be the ones responsible for a comeback or continuation. We did actually get some news last year from the co-president of Naughty Dog, Evan Wells. He actually made a comment on the current status of Jack and Daxter, and even went as far as to say that the studio wishes that they were currently developing a new game. This is what he had to say, we've had a couple of Twitter campaigns where people have been tweeting us every single day. I want a new Jack and Daxter, I want a new Jack and Daxter. And they aren't just simple 280 character tweets, they have photoshopped memes and everything they're including on a daily basis, and the effort has got to be significant. I hate to break it to them, we do not have Jack and Daxter hair in development right now. We still love the characters and see what you guys at Insomniac are doing with Ratchet and Clank, and that makes me wish that we did and we would have one in development because there's still a lot of love for the Jack and Daxter series in the studio. It's fantastic to know that still to this day, Naughty Dog have a lot of love for this franchise. I mean, it's one of the games that put them on the map. And it's great to know that they are aware of the success that Insomniac have received through, of course, continuing with Ratchet and Clank for all of these years and finally bringing it back into the limelight in 2016 and even furthermore, recently last year with Rift Apart. No doubt Naughty Dog have envisioned a modern day Jack and Daxter with their current technology. And it is so apparent that Sony, as well as the rest of the gaming industry, are fully aware of how popular it is to bring back a dormant IP and remake it or finally continue it. It generates an incredible amount of hype and as an end result produces a buttload of money. But right now it does seem like Sony have Naughty Dog hard at work on a a multitude of different projects, including one of them being Factions 2, The Last of Us Part 2 Multiplayer. True, it's entirely possible that one of the projects that Naughty Dog could be working on right now could be a Jack and Daxter game and that uh, Evan right here is just flat out lying. <laughs> but with the rumored Last of Us 1 remake, which still kind of boggles my mind a little bit, that is apparently in the works, I honestly don't think so. Rather, I believe Sony would hand off the responsibility to another one of their first party studios. Now, I know how that might worry people, and again, like I said, personally, I would want Naughty Dog to be responsible. We saw what happened with The Lost Frontier, uh, High Impact didn't do a great job with that. Though, of course, we have had another developer do something in the Jack and Daxter sphere, that being Daxter, uh, that was ready at dawn. They were responsible for that, and that turned out to be a fantastic spin-off game. Though, that being said, Daxter's formula was a lot different compared to the formula we find 
in Jack and Daxter. So with high impact games trying to replicate that with The Lost Frontier, technically sort of being Jack 4-5, they really didn't do a good job and I think that led a lot of people to lose faith in anybody else developing Jack and Daxter. However though, in this current day and age, Sony certainly do strive for quality and currently have a lot of first party studios in their grasp with a ton of experience. I would be 100% confident with another one of their first party studios picking up the responsibility to continue Jack and Daxter. I'm sure that in this current day and age, Sony would absolutely ensure that whatever this next Jack game is, it is quality. For those people that also are unaware, there was a Jack 4, a true proper Jack 4 in development by Naughty Dog. This was leading up to before the development of The Last of Us. There are a ton of concepts that currently exist. Unfortunately though, this project ended up getting cancelled as apparently from Naughty Dog's words, the idea of this game was varying way too far off base from what Jack and Daxter is, with apparently the project getting way too mature and to a point where it was almost unrecognizable to be Jack and Daxter. Lo and behold, what this idea ended up evolving into was The Last of Us. So is it possible that perhaps maybe Sony wants to pick up that idea of Jack 4 again, or just give Jack 4 another shot. I think though, if a movie or TV series is in the talks, this certainly does make me think that with the amount of anticipation, want and need for a new game, and that yeah, Sony are aware of the fact, I do certainly believe something else will come along with this visual adaption. However though, at this point, I'll take literally anything Jack and Baxter, I really don't care <laughs> what it is, whether it be a new game or a visual piece, uh, I, I'm just so excited that uh, Jack is kind of potentially coming back. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I'd love to know. How about dudes? I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.